then we have midpoint. Now what we know about midpoint is that let's say this is a line A, line AC. <coughs> midpoint is just a point on the middle of this line. Let's call it B. So this we have x comma y. Even this midpoint has got x comma y. Even if it has x comma y. Alright. Let's say I have A is three six comma two and C is um four comma six. Sorry. Comma four. And I say find the midpoint of S E. So midpoint of S is just a midi point. It's just a point on the middle of, of the line S E. Midpoint is equal to x one plus x two divided by two comma y one plus y two over two. Now this is your x1, your y1, your x2, your y2. So my x1 is 6 plus 4 over 2, comma, is 2 plus 4 to give me 2. I have 10 over 2. Make sure you follow the step that I'm doing. 6 over 2. Yeah, from the midpoint will be equal to 5, comma, 3. Now let's say we've been given midpoint, all right, to be this, and we've been given the coordinates of this point, and we've been asked to find the coordinates of this. So you have this line, line AB, whose midpoint has been given to be five comma three. We've also been given six comma two, and we've been asked to find this point. So we know that midpoint, midpoint is equal to x one plus x two divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Now midpoint here we have is 5 comma 3. This will be x1 will be here 6 plus x2 let's just call it x the part of b here. Okay that divided by 2 comma y1 is 2 plus let's call it y there over 2. So anything here it has to do with x. We'll go here. So that's x. And this y, it will take up this part. So I'm saying 5 is equal to 6 plus x over 2. I'm also saying 3 is equal to 2 plus y over 2. You cross multiply. 2 times 5 is 10. Equal to 6 plus x. This will be 10 minus 6 equal to x. So 4 equal to x, means x is equal to 4. Here you cross multiply that to be 6 equal to 2 plus y. 6 minus 2 equal to y. Give you 4 equal to y. Therefore y equal to 4. So the coordinates of b are 4 comma 4.